Hi guys. Okay, I wanna start this piece with a beachy scene and I'm gonna start um, bottom up here. And of course, for beachy, my main color right now is gonna be um, sandy blonde. And I do have a cake batter here. I have a prairie gray and a weathered wood, okay? Um, but I'm just gonna build as I go along as usual um, and the sandy blonde will be my base. I'm using a chip brush that's been pretty worn um, because I'm blending and I love how these blend. I also have the Dusty from Paint Pixie um, to help blend as well. I have my water bottle, guys, because um, the key to blending, really, with this paint is just getting it slightly wet, so I'm just gonna get started. So I'm just slapping on the color here. It's my base color and a lot of other changes are going to occur. So I'm not really worried about how full it is because I'm gonna build it. As usual, building your color is the best way to achieve, you know, the brilliance of color, right? And the brilliance of blending. got the weathered wood out already and I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit see I just have a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna begin to lightly whisk that just straight from the can but sometimes then when you're layering as the bottom layer starts to dry it starts to um, get kind of thick when you're painting so do have that water bottle ready sometimes I just really lightly squirt my brush like that and like wipe some of it off. And then it just makes the blend so much easier. Be sure not to pull the paint off though. So I'll keep digging back in for more. Um, just keep your bristles wet. And then this is a really light kind of, trying to create some depth and a little bit of dimension here. So I'm thinking about, you know, as you're walking down the beach and um, maybe there's a wetter part of the sand and maybe it's built up a little bit. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. And this is where the blending is going to become pretty important because if it's too dark in an area or too light in an area, your eye just stops there and it that tends not to go anywhere else. So just take a little care and a little time to blend this out. So what I just did was squirt my brush and then I dipped it a tiny little bit into the sandy blonde. You can see how much of the weathered wood is still on the brush there too. So um, it just assists in blending. And then it's like a really light flicker, I guess. Right, I need to start adding some of the blue. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and check it out after it's dry. So I'm just gonna continue a little bit here. I'm gonna start with a darker of the blue tones and that is the skeleton key. I didn't bring anything to pour this in so I'm just gonna dig it right out of here. What's awesome about this paint is don't dilute it at all by adding water. The color's still just as brilliant. There we go. I'm gonna add some Prom Queen. So again, I'm just using the same brush. And kind of just lightly misting. What's gonna be neat is that it'll start kind of working on its own to create texture, but then I can whisk right through it too and it blends a lot easier. I'm just gonna swap back and forth between the two. You can see that it's leaving um, water lines underneath, but never fear, just um, continue to blend and those will help create some darks in the background or you can totally just blend them right out. Now 
I'm just swapping back and forth with the prom queen and the skeleton key. wood onto my brush and because I've got all these other colors on my brush it's making a really pretty kind of grayish that goes really well and that's likely the color I'm going to try to achieve on the whole top of this piece. All right I'm going to let the side dry and I'm going to get started on the front um, which you know arguably is going to be the Part or place that is seen first or seen the most so I generally spend way more time in the front than I do on the sides um, so I just want to kind of turn it so I can find my horizon line my magnet part is broken so I'm gonna be home doing a lot of holding but that's okay like I said I don't think I'm gonna sell this piece I think I keep it Okay, then as on the other side, I am just kind of slopping the sandy blonde paint on um, for the base coat and then, uh, then the real work begins after that base coat is on. the pole because the screw is completely stripped behind it um, so I'm just gonna leave it on and um, also when I think about it and I've got um, like a scene I think I'm you know and I'm visual so I would need to look for sure but I think having a regular pull would take away from the scene um, so I'm just going to go with the flow here I just want it to be a really wispy and light blend into the sand area. Okay, I'm on the last side. So again, I'm just gonna kinda cut my horizon line on quick. So I'm really loving how it's looking so far. Um, I'll get, uh, I still don't know what I'm putting in here. Okay, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a sailboat. I don't know yet. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then I'm gonna put a coat of Big Top on top of everything and then I can move on from there. Now keeping in mind too that I will likely crackle this a little bit um, just to make it look aged and then after that is when I'll bring in some glaze. So um, this has a long way to go but I'm loving it so far.